Hi you guys, it's another short video in my Samsung Galaxy S3 series that I'm uploading to YouTube. Uh, in this video I just want to go through some of the myths and dispel a few rumours regarding the pentile display on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, there's been an awful lot said in the press regarding the screen quality on the Samsung Galaxy S3 with it being pentile. Problems with white colours, the brightness, uh, pixelation of uh, fonts and letters on the screen etc etc. Now, as you guys who've been following my YouTube videos will know, I've been uh, reviewing both the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X over the last three few weeks. What I will say before we start this uh, brief uh, review is that the uh, HTC One X screen is uh, superior to the IPS panel, but only just, and I say only just because uh, in direct sunlight outside, the IPS panel on the uh, HTC One X is brighter, it has got a higher nit rating, uh, an higher lux rating, and it is brighter outside and easy to see. Having said that, if you're uh, watching a video on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and you stick it in outdoor mode, uh, it certainly cranks up and it's watchable uh, in uh, outside conditions apart from obviously direct sunlight on the screen. Now, I just want to go through quickly a few uh, different uh, screens on here just to give you an idea of uh, the colour balance and the whites been an awful lot reported with regards as uh, bluish tint and a pinkish tint on uh, screens on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, on this particular model that I've been uh, testing and using for the last two or three weeks, I have no problems whatsoever. The whites come out fairly crisp and fairly clean, as you can see on the uh, the time at the top there, 18, 11. It's uh, quite white, quite crisp. Uh, not really a problem. What I will do quickly is go to something that uh, something else that's got a white background and we'll go into Gmail. Most uh, Gmail tends to be white on the background. Uh, as you can see from uh, the video in front of you, I don't know how it's going to come out on YouTube, but obviously as I'm looking at it now, cranked up to full brightness and uh, to my eyes it's quite white. Slightly less than the HTC One X, but hardly anything to be honest, nothing to really beef about. Uh, we'll go from there to the home screen and we'll go, if, if still in multitasking, we'll go quickly from there to the video player and first of all we'll look at it in portrait and we'll let it play for a few seconds. Uh, quite bright again, I may have to move the uh, camera around for you to get this uh, totally, we'll turn it into landscape. Uh, we'll try and get a, a 90 degree straight on uh, view of the uh, screen. Give you a rough idea of the uh, HD quality. This is an HD uh, quality video, full 1080p. Uh, as you can see, the whites are quite white. The resolution very, very crisp. No pixelating whatsoever. Uh, we'll get, move back out. We'll get back out of that and quickly go into uh, a web page. So we'll go onto the internet browser. Uh, go on to msn.co.uk, uh, this is the mobile version we're looking at again, uh, fairly white, white background to uh, MSN, tends to be white on all their backgrounds and all their screens. Uh, we'll go into menu and try and get the uh, desktop page to load, I'll make sure I can click it. Uh, going into the desktop version again, quite a white background page on MSN, uh, msn.co.uk or msn.com, whichever you choose. Again, the background, very, very white, no real issues with background colours. Uh, again, I'll try and get a, a full-on view of the screen and we'll zoom in. As you can see, this is not zoomed in any way, so you've seen a full web page there. Uh, quite readable, it's readable without actually zooming in. Uh, very crisp, very, very clear. Comparable to the HTC One X for reading, obviously you haven't got uh, pinch to zoom where it's X three flows, but pinch to zoom very very smooth on the S three. No text three flow. You've got double tap if you're going into a certain part of the screen, and it'll uh, zoom into that. When the page is fully loaded with a big page like this, it will take a while. You will in the uh, bar at the top. I don't know whether it will load in time because I've got quite a slow internet connection at the moment. But it, if it does load on the top bar, you'll get a reader option. The reader option will give you text uh, reflow if I can get it to uh, load in. Should have probably picked a smaller page to do this on, but we'll give it another couple of minutes. If it doesn't uh, load in, we'll, uh, we'll dismiss that. But what happens generally when the page has loaded everything in, all the flash, all the different uh, bits and bobs that are on the page, 
within the uh, address bar at the top you'll get a little reader icon it obviously takes a while on a very uh, heavy content page like this but when it's totally loaded you then get the option to uh, use a reader option on it which uh, gets rid of all the main bump uh, probably works better if I actually go to uh, a headline story so if we can if we can click on a story or a link we may get this to work uh, so we can go to this and may work quicker as you can see again the white's quite clear quite crisp uh, I'm trying to zoom in so you can see the clarity of the screen uh, no pixelating of uh, the fonts there and you can see the readers loaded up at the top and what this basically does now you've got a reader and you've also got an RSS uh, feed that can come off that if I can click on it uh, from over here I'm doing it from the back of the camera now when we go into reader mode obviously it's a bit awkward here because I've got the camera in front of me and I'm trying to work over the reader mode now if we go to the text uh, people asking about text reflow on the Samsung Galaxy S3 if I pinch to zoom the text will reflow zoom back out again so if pinching into zoom it goes to a larger text and that will text into as big as you can really get it really it's reflowed into the width of the screen obviously if you turn it to landscape it does uh, the opposite but it's uh, the reader just gives you something similar to what the HTC One X has got off on uh, it's main screen where you've got text reflow. As you can see, text again. I'll zoom in a bit more. Move it over. Try and get as near as I can with this camera. Let's try and show you any pixelation on the text. A few fingerprints on there. There's no pixelation that's visible. You'd have to have pretty, pretty good eyesight to get really this close to see any pixelation on the text. So that's just... Uh, just to dispel a few rumours on the HTC, uh, on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 compared to the HTC uh, One X, both of them very very high res HD screens, both uh, equal in terms of uh, reading, viewing, web browsing, etc. etc. The HTC One X has a slight edge with the IPS panel, but certainly a lot of the rumours that are out there on the internet regarding uh, whites being bluish, pinkish, etc. etc with the later uh, handsets have been uh, put out by Samsung the early ones may have had a few problems the later handsets certainly don't uh, for a, a pentile display panel I can't see any problems with it at all it's HD, it is full HD, you get the HD resolution quality and uh, as I say side by side there's not much between them to be honest both brilliant handsets, both good in their own way uh, basically down to the uh, end user to pick which handset you want to choose out the two handsets. Anyway, that's another quick review on screen uh, quality on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Leave any comments you've got in the comment box below. Give me a like and subscribe and I'll get more videos out to you in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.